Cameron for Tweaktown, back again for another video. Um, as you can see, I'm here in one of the uh, rooms at Via Technologies here in Taipei. And what we've got a cool demo for you today, and it's a 3D printing demo. Um, so this is the whole machine here. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a look at it here. Um, it's a MakerBot uh, 3D printer. Um, but what Via has done, they have used one of their uh, VX900 boards, I believe. VE. VE 900 uh, mini ITX boards here. You can see his board here, and they've used this to basically improve the the interface of the MakerBot 3D printer. And you can see here there's um, software as well as hardware that Veer has implemented into this design to improve the whole user interface of the the 3D printing concept in this machine here. We did see this at Computex. Um, but we didn't have enough time to sit properly. Um, what we're going to be able to print is little uh, things like this. Uh, little 3D, 3D printouts. You can see here some VIA logos. This is Type A 101, I guess. Um, uh, so maybe we can start the machine now. Okay. Yeah. So you can see this is the TT of the Tweaktown logo. So it's already warmed up. And the whole process, I believe, to print out this uh, TT uh, 3D printout here will take, I believe, around 15 to 20 minutes. We won't let it go the whole time, we'll sort of speed it up a little bit so you can, um, don't have to wait too long. So, this is the first time I've seen 3D printing in real life, so I'm pretty excited. There's a lot of Moving parts, mechanical parts. And it's coming lower to the surface here, calibrating itself to start. I have a really good no idea what's about to happen, but it's going to be exciting. Okay, so it's starting here, as you can see. I'm getting as close as I can to sort of show you. Uh, what it'll do first, it'll lay down sort of a base platform for your logo designs. They're separated. Yeah. So it'll have a, a structure to build your, your model upon. So right now it's going to lay down the, sort of the foundation as you can kind of see. With. Okay, just the base, yeah. Yeah, and then you'll be able to have it connected and you can snap this away when you're finished as well to, to build your complete model on top of Okay. So I think we'll leave it here for a minute and then we'll come back when it's done a little bit more after it's finished the base and it starts to get a bit more depth to it, I guess. Okay, so we're back again and it's, it's finished the base and now you can see the layers of the first T are being applied. So it's really quick and it's, and it's fairly accurate as well as you can see. This one's capable of printing at a resolution of one millimeter thickness. Okay. So it's really impressive. I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, if we come up to the, the Vita UI here, you can see it's almost, oh, it's at 10% now. And this gives you uh, the machine state, of course it's building, and then the total time remaining around uh, uh, 20 minutes. So we go back.
So basically now the base is done and now it's just going to keep working on the, the two T's of Twigtown and uh, increase, increasing the height. Okay. Okay. He wants to watch it switch. Okay, yeah, we're about to uh, change from the blue plastic uh, over to white plastic. So you can see that is going to happen shortly. It's, this blue plastic here is almost finished. You can see it going down slowly. And when that goes down, we're going to change over to the white. But you can see that next to it. Let's have a look at the pink out. You can clearly see the definition, the height of the two TTs now. That's almost finished. And then the white will go straight in. So it's kind of, it's following it right in, so there's not going to be any of them. So shortly we should see a change from the blue to white color. So that's just going to fade in now as you can see. Yeah, I think we're starting to get a little bit of white. I guess it's maybe clear. This is this is the color that changed now. Yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. So Once I guess another layer on top to be able to see it much better. Yeah. So again, we'll come back in a little bit once it's processed, uh, progressed rather, a uh, little further through the printout. Okay, so we're about 60% uh, of the way through, and you can see the white plastic now is much more visible. So you can see different, different uh, colors, first blue up to around 40%, and then the rest uh, white. Okay, so you can see here we're, at, uh, we're finished at 100%, and this is the end result here. Um, very cool. I think we're going to wait a little bit before we take it off so it cools down. Okay, so now we can uh, take it off with the printer. And then here it is. This is the one we showed you before, and this is one we've just printed. Yeah, it's, no, it's fine, it's, it's only a little bit warm now. But yeah, very cool. So this has been our uh, uh, 3D printing demo, um, powered by Via, uh, remind me again, V900, v uh, Mini ITX motherboard here. And it's printed out the TT logo. It took around uh, a little bit over 20 minutes, but uh, very, uh, very cool indeed.